All right, let's get right back into it. Yeah, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Big star in studio. Absolutely. Talking about uh, yeah. checking out uh, naked women in their apartments. They were looking next door. It's Timothy Oliphant. Yeah, I was right. about to say we got to <laughs> we got to yeah. say his name he's so a, people know who we're talking to here. He's like uh, now a star, going to be in major blockbuster coming out this summer. Uh, uh, die Hard. What, what's the tag on it? They want to call it Die Hard. Live like, free. Live yeah, free. Live or free. Die. Hard. Live free or die hard. Uh, what are you playing in the uh, latest installment? I'm the villain. You're the bad guy. <laughs> so, yeah. you're, you're the bad guy. Yeah, just more gay. Like what? What's your what's your motivation of badness? Like Alan Rickman, he was. You I'm know. just trying not to bring down the franchise. Not that I feel it rests on my shoulders in any oh, way. Oh, it does. You're just kind of <laughs> trying to do your part. <laughs> By the way, there was a lot of controversy. We weren't sure we were going to have you this morning. There were emails going back and forth all night long with our yeah. buddy Roland. Did something happen with Bruce Probably on the set? Bruce. We're hearing Bruce Willis got hurt on the set of well, uh, Die Hard. I think it, it, he had a pet goat. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, he took a foot uh, boot boot to the head. Apparently, Ooh. yeah, a little, yeah. That's what I was told. Yeah, yeah, he got kicked in the head. Kicked in the head. Got some stitches. That's good. He, yeah, he's the kind of guy that could get kicked in the head, get stitches, and it'll just look better on him. He's the real deal. He's the action guy. Yeah, he's been very cool. He's been very nice. Yeah, to me. yeah. Can you talk about the naked woman you were telling us about as you sat down? We used to live down at Jones. I was your lovely lady across the street here. It reminded me. I used to live in New York. I used to live on Jones Street down in the village there between Bleecker and Forest, and we had just the most beautiful woman across. Just she'd just walk around topless. She'd lean out her window and just like. <laughs> But um, but then we actually had we had uh, did people would just uh, have sex down on uh, the street down there. <laughs> yeah, really. No, on the like the hood of a car, right there. Yeah, like when the know, bars let out. Three, like you know that, that yeah. whole yeah, because that yeah. fourth uh, yeah. yeah. So it'd be like three in the morning. I'd be like, honey, look, there's a there's two people having sex right there, and you could they would be on the back of the car, but then uh, aware of pedestrians. And so they'd be going at it, and then when a pedestrian would approach, they'd go at it right up until about you know a few yards away, and then they'd kind of stop, like as if they're just having conversation, hanging out, talking. And the person would—it was always fun to watch the person walking because there was a bit of a that moment they realized what was happening, but chose to ignore it. Already a little, maybe a little bit past the situation. Exactly, and then they'd get by, and then stop and look look back. New York is an odd place for stuff like that. Like it's, it's a great it, town. It,